And Patrick, since we've learned of that full FDA approval, we've seen some cars coming in and out of the facility. No major movement here, though. We do know that Pfizer has said that this is one of their distribution sites for the or one of the storage sites for the vaccine. Uh, healthcare workers, of course, will be among the first to get that vaccine. But now there's a debate over who may be next. In a letter to Governor Evers, Uber's CEO, Dara Khazrashahi, is asking app-based drivers be considered essential, moving them up the list for a vaccine. Khazrashahi writes, quote, over the last nine months, these workers have been a lifeline to their communities. They have transported health care workers to hospitals, delivered food to people socially distancing at home, and helped local restaurants stay in business. I've been working the whole time, and um, I... I haven't gotten sick. Lyft driver Robert Dawson isn't sure he'll take the vaccine right away, but thinks about how close he's been to so many people. Whether you believe it or not, I have a friend that we're burying tomorrow because of COVID, and and uh, it, it's it's tough, you know. You wonder. I carry all these people around, and, you know. I wonder. The debate over which jobs are essential for a vaccine will be up to state leaders. Officially, Wisconsin will rely on FDA guidance for priority groups. And Ben, we know that other groups are also asking to be considered essential to get the vaccine. Yeah, a number of groups, Patrick, not just uh, app-based drivers, but also uh, the airline industry, teachers, even meatpacking plants are all vying for the vaccine. And now that it has full approval, those groups will no doubt be watching to see if they are considered essential. Patrick.